Throughout history, humans have created diagrams, charts, images and graphs to coordinate their activities and make sense of the outside world. We've used street maps, sheet music, electronic circuit diagrams, architectural drawings, sales forecasts, stock charts, and even sports diagrams to show plays in an attempt to win the Super Bowl. Now, at this moment in time, we are creating new maps to see our way forward. We are using charts to envision our population numbers and graphs to show changes in our climate. We are even creating complex systems diagrams to imagine how cows produce milk in a dairy farm. One map, which is very new, is a product of the LoveShift team from Palo Alto. It is being called the Axis Shift Diagram and looks like this. This image shows three functions, with X and Y axes. What it attempts to convey is the impossibility of continuing to think of ourselves as separate, as depicted by the exponential curve in the function on the left, and the red vertical line known as the asymptote that it is bumping up against. We can feel this limit as we see our troubles with war, climate, species extinction, human trafficking and pollution, among many others. What the Axis Shift Diagram and the Love Shift team propose is that, in order for us to survive, we shall need to switch the axes and make consciousness the independent variable, with the future, then, dependent upon it. The shift must be taken by individuals, one by one. It must be done, consciously, with intention, in full awareness of our predicament, and with a mature understanding of the implications of making such a shift. And, it must be done together, by humans, as shown by these lines connecting the dots. Finally, post-shift, if you will, the individuals must network, share and work together to build a global community with a culture that works for the benefit of all life. Awaiting these enlightened souls is something which cannot be described. It is yet to be discovered. But, it has been projected by the formula E equals MC raised to the power of C, where the large C is collective consciousness. When consciousness is collectivized, tremendous energy is released for action. Visit loveshift.com slash imagemap.html to learn more. Loveshift. P.S. For those who ask, what does this really mean? Or, how can one person make a difference? Watch this. If
want more understanding of the mathematics behind the axis shift, please watch this. What? The axis shift of love shift. Glossary of terms. Independent variable, the thing that changes first. Dependent variable, the effect it has on something else, which is dependent upon it. The x axis, the independent axis in any graphical function. The y axis, the dependent axis in the function, showing the effect of changes in the independent variable. The asymptote, that value on the x independent axis, which the function cannot mathematically exceed. Why this is important? We humans are in an unprecedented predicament. The pressures are immense, and we need to find a new way forward if we want to survive. The asymptote is a mathematical representation of the wall we are bumping up against. All the symptoms of this barrier are pointing to the need for a radical new way of thinking. We need new eyes. If individuals, and society, collectively, can shift their mode of thinking, then infinite new opportunities may arise. Love shift, and the axis shift, is a way to imagine how this could occur. The new functionality does not replace, or destroy the old. Rather, it fulfills the previous success with new possibilities for all life. And, as is now being understood, there will be another, shift, after the love shift. This is just one in an ongoing, perhaps infinite, number of changes in the design of the cosmos. Love shift. Working together, we can make a difference. Want a practical application of the axis shift? How about to the institution of war? Please watch this. Thank This video is going to be about alternatives to war. In the 1980s, the organization Beyond War examined the institution of war and came to the conclusion that all war had become obsolete. If this is true, then what is the alternative? The typewriter still exists, but the word processor has made it obsolete. The horse and buggy still exists, but the automobile has made it obsolete. Phone booths and landlines still exist, but the mobile phone has made them obsolete. So what is the alternative to war? It's not a new jet, or weapon, or satellite or bomb. It's not a treaty, or law, or regulation or leader. And it's not a technology, although this will help. The alternative to war is relationship. Here is a quote from September 11, 2001, which sums up this truth. The only reliable resource for security in the world today is relationship. When relationships are healthy, you don't need any military to protect you. When relationships are unhealthy, the largest military in the world won't keep you safe. So what would a relationship-based security system look like? What are the specifics? Remember, in order to work, the solution must be complex, involve new thinking, and be relationship-based. Here are some aspects to the solution. They comprise, through their interactivity, a viable, cultural, alternative to war, a peaceful attitude, open communication, a flag of the world, group thinking, an expanded identity, an expanded level of concern, global patriotism, international conflict management, negotiation, scientific collaboration, sister city programs, sister schools, student exchange programs, shared peace traditions, empathy for other nations situations, free trade, international travel, democracy, arbitration, a new, shared, definition of what it means to be a soldier, economic interdependence, dialogue groups, peace learning programs, cultural exchanges, listening, diversity inclusion programs, pen pal programs, mutual tourism, taking all nuclear weapons off hair trigger alert, peace journalism, international cities of peace, elimination of launch on warning nuclear policy, shared no first use nuclear policy, nuclear weapons talks among all nations, compassion, holistic thinking, intercultural understanding, education, the Olympics, the promotion of nonviolence, agreement to not pose an enemy, goodwill, no blame, being inclusive, preventive diplomacy, conversations that matter, development of collective consciousness and what is called big C, being responsible, a new worldview. These and many other initiatives would form a benevolent complex. They might change over time. But, if made real, they would create a new intention on Earth. 
Together they would help emerge a global community with a culture that works for the benefit of all life. Together, they are more than powerful enough to make all war obsolete. Visit masterprinciples.org alternatives to war.com loveshift.com P.S. Want to take immediate action? Share this video with your contacts and friends. Send it to your city, state and national representatives. Post it on blogs, forums and on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to our channel and invite others to do the same. Thank you. Thank you.